temporomandibular joint, it is a synovial joint of condyloid variety and formed by head of the mandible from blue and mandibular fossa of the skull from above. The articular surfaces are covered by fibrocartilage. The cavity of the joint is divided by intraarticular disc into superior and inferior compartments. Each compartment is lined by synovial membrane. The upper surface of the disc is concave or convex, while the lower surface is concave only. The nerve supply of the joint by auriculotemporal nerve and nerve to masseter all these nerves from the mandibular nerve. Factors maintain the stability of the joint. Number one, muscles of mastication. Number two, ligaments, mainly temporomandibular ligament. Number three, shape of the bones, which share in the formation of the joint. Last item is atmospheric pressure. The temporomandibular joint, TMJ, and this is head of the mandible from below, and this is mandibular fossa of the skull from above, and this is the intraarticular disc. The muscle which enter the space of the joint is the lateral trigoid muscle to reach the intraarticular disc. Capsule and the ligaments of the temporomandibular joint. The capsule of the joint is attached to number one, mandibular fossa superior. The neck of the mandible from inferior. The circumference of the intraarticular disc. Number two, ligaments of the joint. Number one, temporomandibular ligament between the root of zygoma and the lateral surface of the neck of the mandible. Then, sphenomandibular ligament between the spine of the sphenoid and the lingula of the mandible. Number three, stylomandibular ligament between the styloid process of the skull and the angle of the mandible. Number four, trigomandibular ligaments, and sometimes it is called trigomandibular raphi, between the pterygoid hamulus of the skull and posterior end of the mylohyoid line of the mandible. This is the capsule of the joint. This is the lateral ligament. And this is the sphenomandibular ligament. And this is stylomandibular ligament. Movements of the temporomandibular joint number one. Elevation by action of the following muscles temporalis, masseter, and medial trigoid. Depression number one by effect of gravity with action of anterior bill of digastric muscle and the lower head of the lateral trigoid and helped by mylohyoid and the genohyoid muscles. Three, protrusion of the mandible or anterior movement by action of lateral and medial pterygoid muscles in addition to superficial fibers of the masseter. Retraction or posterior movement of the mandible by posterior horizontal fibers of the temporalis muscle. Side-to-side -side movements by action of medial and lateral pterygoid muscles of both sides in alternation. This is the movements of the temporomandibular joint. Muscles which share in these movements are temporalis, this elevation, and this is lateral pterygoid, forward movements, then medial pterygoid, upward, and this is masseter muscle also share in the elevation. Anterior bill of digastric help in depression of the mandible. Action of medial and lateral pterygoid muscles effects together 
If the medial and lateral trigoid muscles of one side act together, they deviate the mandible to the opposite side. While if both sides act together, that is to say four trigoid muscles act in alternation, they move the mandible from side to side or chewing movements of the mandible. This is uh, active depression by lower head of lateral trigoid muscle.